All right, welcome back to halftime. Time now for final trades. We have an energy theme going right now. Jim, I'm going to start off with you. Yeah, I, this seems very easy to me, ExxonMobil. It's a recent addition to my portfolio. We see that energy kind of corrected the whole space uh, earlier this summer, but now is coming out of it. So uh, I see the fundamentals and the technical supporting it. Brent. Yeah, Devon Energy is one of the best companies in the exploration and production space. At $85 oil, they have a free cash flow yield of 15%, of which 75% goes to dividends and buybacks. Right company at the right time. Josh. Uh, IEO is flying off those June lows. We're going to be hearing about rationing of electricity and natural gas in Europe not too long from now. These stocks should remain bid. All right, why she got the last word? And again, you didn't even respond. Jim's over here speaking French. He didn't say anything. Yeah, you know, he's burying, he's burying himself. I mean, I'm, I'm just, I've got my, my dictionary out. I'm trying to figure out what a la mode, which I associate with ice cream, not pie, has to do with halftime report. But in any event, look, I'm going to cede my time to Bryn to repeat Devin because it's a bigger position for me than EPD, Enterprise Products, which has a great yield. And that's my final trade, also gas-related. I think the energy sector keep going, particularly net gas, for the reasons Josh said earlier.